covering the installation of Rust Buster's front shackle mount section, passenger side, for the YJ Wrangler. Note, the following steps assume that the end user wants to retain the front cross member and OEM sway bar bracket. Before you begin, if at any point you are uncomfortable with any of the processes, we strongly suggest you seek out the work of a professional. Ensure you have all the required tools listed and ensure you follow all the manufacturer's safety precautions and operations while using them. Step 1. Disconnect your vehicle's battery and inspect for potential fire hazards, such as leaking fuel lines and engine components. Repair or remove these before starting and remove any fire hazards from the work area. Step 2. Lift your vehicle and support its rear axle with jack stands for driver and passenger sides. Remove the wheel. Remove your gas tank and its components and plug all remaining tubes to reduce fume leakage. Place the tank safely outside your work area. Step 3. Using a T55 Torx, remove the front bumper, frame cover, and with a 10mm socket, remove the cover support bracket. Remove any wheel well liner with a body clip tool to provide ease of access as well as prevent a fire hazard. Using two 19mm sockets, Remove the upper spring shackle bolt and loosen the lower bolt enough to rotate the shackle down and away from the mount section. Using a 14mm socket and wrench, disconnect the sway bar bracket. Place the part over the front cross member and take note of its measurements. Draw a line around the frame rail where the part ends. Note. The following steps require accurate measurements in order to allow correct amounts of weldable frame. Take note of the location of the OEM sway bar bracket and mark it into the replacement. Measure 2.375 inches from the inside edge of the rightmost hole and draw a perpendicular line. The inside of the left flange will rest flush on this line. Step 4. Begin cutting away the material around the front cross member so that you can gain full access to it. Grind it down until it's flush with bare metal. Cut away the section just inside the drawn line while avoiding damage to the sway bar bracket. Once the mount section has been removed, remove the sway bar bracket from the remnants to be used in a later step. Step 5. Attempt to push the part into place and over the front cross member. With the part in place, measure 28.25 inches from the inner passenger side section wall to the inside wall of the part. Draw a line onto the front cross member here as this is where the replacement will be installed at. If you have to bend the front cross member to fit the part into place, you may need to remove very small increments of material from the frame rail until it's flush. Note: Removing too much metal will make the gap size too large to fill with weld. Test the fitment of the sway bar bracket. Ensure it fits flush against the part. Step 6. If you wish to cover both the sway bar bracket and part entirely, coat it in a weldable primer or other inflammable rust inhibitor to help prevent or reduce the risk of rust formation. Place a spirit level onto the center of the front cross member. Place a car jack with blocks under it and slowly raise the cross member until the level equalizes. Replace the part to your measurements and tack weld or C-clamp the part into place. Step 7. Remove any potential fire hazards. 100% weld all sway bar bracket and replacement part edges. Step 8. If you chose not to in Step 6, coat the work area and part with a primer or other rust inhibitor to help prevent or reduce the risk of rust formation. Step 9. Begin reassembling your vehicle by installing a new front shackle mount bushing into the part according to the manufacturer's instructions. Resecure your upper leaf spring shackle and bolt using two 19mm sockets. Resecure the lower shackle bolt. Reinstall your bumper and frame covers. Reinstall your wheel well liners and wheels. Reconnect your battery and you're done.